Hey guys, in this series, we would learn how to walk with JSON path. This particular video in this series is an introduction to JSON path. In this video, I'll briefly and theoretically touch base on different terminologies, which we would explore into much more details in the later part of this series. The agenda of this video is onto your screen. We would cover what is JSON, what is JSON path, what is a dictionary, what is a list and finally what is a root element so before we learn json path in much more detail let's first understand what json is json stands for javascript object notation json is a lightweight open standard file format for storing and interchange data format for transporting data from one computer to another or between different programs on to the same computer it is a structured, text-based, human and machine-readable format. JSON was based on a subset of the JavaScripting language and is commonly used with JavaScript, but it is a language-independent data format. Code for passing and generating JSON data is readily available in many programming languages. JSON file names use the extension .json. A JSON document is written as name value pairs. A name value pairs consists of a field name in double quotes, also known as key, followed by a colon and then followed by a value. This example shows a possible JSON representation describing a person. Then what is JSON path? JSON path is a query language that helps in passing data represented into JSON format. To understand this better, let's take an analogy of reading data from an RDBMS table using SQL. So imagine this matrix is a person table in a database and we have to find a person name who is 53 years old. Okay, so we got to find this particular row from this table. So a SQL statement would be select name from person table where age is equal to 53. The output of this query would be the result that we want. So we followed the syntax of SQL to get what we want. Likewise, if we have the same data, but this time represented in the JSON format, we would use JSON path to retrieve the result. And the query would look something like this. In the later video in this series, I have explained all the construct of this query into much more detail. In this video, I'll keep it brief. This dollar symbol represents the root or the outermost element or we can also say root node. Then these square brackets signifies we are working with array or a list. Inside these square brackets, we have written an expression to filter down the data set to what I'm looking for. Okay. Now, dollar, square brackets, question mark, round brackets, at the rate symbol, dot, and double equal to are all operators in JSON path and are designed to do specific task. Now, the outermost level of a JSON document is either an object, aka dictionary, which is signified by these curly braces, or an array, aka list, which is signified by the square brackets. Based on that, we say whether a given JSON document is a dictionary or a list. Here's an example of what a dictionary looks like in JSON. It starts with the opening curly bracket and ends with the closing curly bracket. It is written as name value pairs. A name value pair consists of a field name in double quotes followed by a colon followed by a value. Key must be strings and the values must be of type string, number, object, array, boolean or null. JSON dictionaries are also sometimes called as JSON objects. Now here's an example of what a list looks like in JSON. It starts with the opening square bracket and ends with the closing square bracket. It is written as collection of items separated by comma. In JSON, list values must be of type string, number, object, array, boolean, or null. 
JSON lists are also sometimes called as JSON arrays. And if we look at this particular example, each item in this array is an object. Now, like I said earlier, the outermost level of JSON document is either an object represented via curly braces or an array represented by square brackets. Now, depending upon the type of root element, our JSON path syntax would change. For example, JSON path to fetch first name from this dictionary would be dollar. This represents the root element. Dot is the notation. This dot is a type of notation used to access child nodes from the parent nodes. Likewise, JSON path to fetch first name of first item in the list would be dollar square brackets inside that we write zero dot first name. These opening and closing square brackets are again a type of notation being used to work with array. And inside these opening and closing square brackets, we write either an index value or an expression. In this case, index zero signifies the first item in the list. Since the first item, as you could see, is an object or you can also say a dictionary, we change the dot notation to fetch the first name of the child node, okay? And like I said before, in the later videos in the series, we would learn all the expressions, filters, wildcard, operators, etc. into much more detail. That's all from this video. Please feel free to join me in the next video. Thanks for watching.